You're good. Hey everyone, it's James Reeves with TFB TV, and today on TFB TV, I'm doing a review from Thunder Ranch on the Surefire SOCOM 65-TI. That is the Titanium 65 Creedmoor specific can from Surefire. About a month ago, I went to Surefire's factory in Fountain Valley, California. Silencer Shop took me on that trip, and bear in mind, Silencer Shop has an awesome YouTube channel that I think you guys should check out. Checked out how they made these cans, and it is freaking amazing. We watched the step from the very beginning, from bar stock to making baffles with CNC machines, to each one of those baffles being welded together by a technician who's using a laser welder. And it's kind of neat, there's like, he watches it on the screen and he lines up the baffles in these crosshairs and then hits this button and then the laser spins around and welds the can shut. The cans get tested all along the way. They've got like birth certificates that go with them. One of my favorite shots is this one right here whenever I was taking a video of like the little mechanical arm that coats the cans and then sets them over to dry and it's done perfectly. So I saw all the effort that Surefire placed into making these cans. The TI is incredibly lightweight. I used it on the Springfield Waypoint out here at the Counter Sniper course at Thunder Ranch and I, it was almost like it wasn't even on the end of the rifle. We even hiked up the mountain behind us at Thunder Ranch to shoot at targets up to 1500 yards away with the can. And it's like I didn't even notice. I could carry the rifle up one-handed just because that Waypoint carbon fiber rifle with that TI can were so lightweight. For those of you who are familiar with the SOCOM cans and how they work, you've got Surefire's attachments like the war comps and their muzzle brakes, flash hider, so on. You just slide the suppressor over the muzzle device and there's a little collar that kind of zips into place. It's almost like a zip tie. Uh, that same feeling, tactile feeling, when it zips and locks into place, that thing is not moving. So why don't we talk about the specs real quick and then I'll tell you how it did at the Counter Sniper course. Surefire SOCOM 65 Ti is their lightest center fire rifle mounted suppressor. It's optimized for use with bolt action and precision rifles and it weighs a mere 11 ounces. Thanks in no small part to its all titanium construction. It of course works with 6.5 Creedmoor, but it will also work with 6mm and 260 caliber rifles. It reduces the sound at the shooter's ear to 128 decibels. And it has a 7.9 inch overall length. It also suppresses visible flash by 98%. It slips over Surefire muzzle devices using Surefire's patented fast attach design. And all SOCOM 65 Ti suppressors are test fired to verify sub MOA group sizing and sub MOA point of impact shift whenever the suppressor is installed or removed. It's designed and manufactured in the USA. Is this good? I'm good? Yeah, okay. I'm good? Great. You good? Yeah, I'm, okay, good. I'm, I'm fantastic. Good. You good? I'm good. <laughs> Guys, I'm with Barry Duke of Surefire, the world famous. Barry Duke of Surefire. We're at the Surefire range, actually, where they do their testing, which is kind of cool. What do you call it? Like sound testing, audio testing? Um, got a fancy name for it. We do all of our research and development out here. So everything from durability. We've been out here, you know, shooting 120,000 rounds over the course of a few weeks with a whole team of people. We do sound testing. We do flash testing. We do our accuracy. So pretty much everything. I love working with you guys because like you're so cool about stuff. Like for example, letting me use your 6.5, your SOCOM 6.5 on a bolt gun that I haven't told you guys what it is. It's a total surprise. By the time this video comes out, it'll be on the video. Um, and you guys are totally cool with it. So I wanted to kind of get you on camera and have you tell everybody, instead of me just repeating like marketing material or whatever, I wanted to get the most knowledgeable individual on the 6.5, and I wanted you to tell us all about it. To start out with the SOCOM 6.5 tie, because we have the SOCOM 6.5 RC, RC, RC2 actually, and the difference between these two, most notably, first thing you pick up, this one's 11 ounces, this is 21 ounces. Oh, the difference is titanium construction uh, with a baffle stack optimized for bolt guns. This is optimized to reduce sound 
This is optimized for assault rifles. Mm -hmm. So largely ink and L construction, every baffle, the outer tube, every spacer is ink and L. Uh, we've got some stainless on the very exit, exit baffle, which is more front plate. I don't really consider it a baffle normally, even though I just called it one. And then a couple different types of stainless in the attachment, optimized for whatever part of the suppressor they're in. Uh, where this suppressor back pressure wasn't an issue, it was designed around bolt actions, and it was designed to get the ultimate sound reduction and the most accuracy in a nice 11 ounce package. There you go. A can made 465 Creedmoor. To me, that that it, why would anyone do that? That seems like it, it's unsound marketing. Like just use a 762 can, right? 762 cans work great on 65 Creedmoors. In fact, we got a lot of customers. We got some of our military customers that are working uh, with 65 that just run our 762 suppressors on the 65. Works great, but. For the customer that wants to optimize their gun to get the absolute best sound reduction out of it, you know, that's where the SOCOM 65 tie came from. Dude. 6.5 RC2, uh, same thing. After we did this for bolt guns, we had some customers that wanted them for assault rifles. Mm -hmm. So we optimized a 6.5 for assault rifles. This, this, the real difference, it's a tiny bit louder. Uh, sometimes the suppressor gods smile on you. This is actually only a couple dB louder than the one that was op op uh -huh. optimized for sound. Uh -huh. But it's just serious, robust construction designed to get lower back pressure and be able to hold up to some serious serious rounds going through it downrange without affecting it at all. The TI can, so is yes. that a 100% uh, titanium body and baffles or do you guys have some Inconel buried in there? What's going on no, with it? No, this is 100% oh titanium. What happens if I put that through like a short barrel rifle uh, 6.5 or semi-auto and I just burn it down. I mean, that's that's probably a good uh, idea, huh? Burn it, burn it down. Uh, titanium, it's just you're not using titanium for where it's good. Mm -hmm. It is possible where you'd have to really do some seriously stupid stuff tearing up your gun to even come close to making this one yawn, mm -hmm. where this one, you would be you would be able to damage it eventually if you just hammered mag after mag after mag, like came out to the range with your gun, said, you know, I'm gonna do eight 20 round bursts. You know, that's not what this suppressor is designed for. It's optimized for a bolt gun. And that's the reason we were able to get it to 11 ounces is really setting this up. And although we've never actually, we've ran these pretty hard, we've never actually pushed them to failure. We have made a policy out here in the summer, we do not, uh, durability test titanium because sure. we had a competitor's titanium suppressor and it blew up and it spit baffles all <laughs> different directions and every baffle started its own fire and you should have seen us running around like oh uh, my gosh yeah we're running bet, around yeah. like little forestry people yeah, we, we know who caused the uh the forest fires around we here, did right? we didn't yeah. want to be that guy so <laughs> yeah. we put was it, was it a gender reveal Is that it was not we, we did not do the gender reveal we did the uh put out the baffle fire yeah but we got it out before it got it before it got away but we decided let's not do that again this to me sounds like the titanium not only will it work well in a bolt action, but maybe a super or ultra lightweight bolt action rifle from a manufacturer who has never made a bolt action rifle before. I'm just throwing that out there. I would I would say it would be a very good combination. Well, I can't wait. 11 ounce uh, suppressor on your lightweight, yet undisclosed lightweight bolt action that. rifle. I didn't say that. I didn't say it. I think you're just making assumptions here. But I, no. I am. <laughs> I am making assumptions. <laughs> Barry, it's always great to have you. Thank you so great. much for Thank being you. on the program. Guys, stay tuned for more from the review. So performance at the counter sniper course again. The main thing was how lightweight it was. It was incredibly lightweight and it was unbelievably quiet using a 22 inch barrel, even shooting from covered shooting positions like at the Brown Ranch, the long range here at Thunder Ranch. Smoked it. Many of you guys know that decibel ratings are so flaky 
online. There's no uniformity of measurement. People don't use the right tools. You have to spend $15,000 to get like a BK sound meter just to get an accurate reading on these things. So the best advice I can give you guys is just don't completely ignore the decibel specs that you get on spec sheets. Just kind of maybe pay attention to them, but don't use them as the dispositive element. For that 4.1, we'll check old. it out. Impact center, nice. Okay, let's go to two. It was virtually it hearing safe. Old. I mean, so I would shoot, or if other people were shooting it without ears, it, it didn't bother me. Now, I know that whenever you say hearing safe, some people lose their minds. You should always wear hearing protection, yada, yada, yada. But with this 6.5 bolt gun, I, I was not uncomfortable in the least. Shooting with the SOCOM 6.5 T, I can. I shot the waypoint out to 700 yards, had the can on it almost the whole time, and this was one of the most accurate guns on the line. Okay, center hit right in the chest, good shot. Number three, you're up, James. Fuck yeah, that trace was awesome. Hands down. So I know that the Surefire can, even though we did kind of a crappy job installing the muzzle device, it actually worked really, really well. Did not screw with the accuracy of this very precise bolt action rifle, which has a .75 MOA guarantee, if you can believe that. Using just Walmart grade ammo, we were smashing targets all the way out to 700 yards reliably. Surefire also focuses on durability, and this is totally off the record, and I think Surefire would deny it if you ever asked, but I've heard stories of Surefire cans that have 100,000 rounds through them that still work and that still have no point of aim, point of impact shift whenever they're removed or installed. So those are really the main focuses of Surefire cans. Got it. Shooter three. I'm gonna hold up any better. Same spot. Okay, Durability and no POA, POI, that is point of aim, point of impact shift. That is whenever you remove the suppressor, or put it on, the impact doesn't shift. I urge you again, don't go down this path of I'm going to buy whatever has the lowest decibel rating on the white paper. Go with a suppressor from a reliable company. I mean, for God's sake, uh, Surefire makes, it's the SOCOM can because Surefire makes these exact cans for special forces. So go with something that's not only quiet, but has good construction, good features, good durability. Those are the things that you really want. And you also want someone who's going to support the product. But of course, I recommend that you check out the selection at Silencer Shop. So guys, that's it. In conclusion, I think this is a keeper. If you've got a 6.5 Creedmoor gun, you want a dedicated 6.5 Creedmoor can, I think this is the route that you go. I understand that that's a major flex, right? To buy like such a caliber specific can. Cause I know that guys out there would rather get like say a 308 can and I don't fault you for that at all. Surefire has just told me that the 6.5 can is optimized for 6.5. So if you want a badass hunting rifle, a badass precision rifle, it might be worth the extra spend and you're definitely gonna get the extra flex if you get a 6.5 specific can for your 6.5 Creedmoor rifle. As I mentioned, we were going over the specs. This works with a few other calibers as well. And yeah, the can's a little bit pricey, but it is Surefire. They make a quality product. They put a lot of love into it. I've seen their machinery. I've seen their factories. I've seen how they do it. And you see where the money goes. So it might be one of those things where you just buy once, cry once. If it were me, I'd be kind of torn whether or not to go with a 6.5 or a 308 can. I like the versatility of the 308 can, but if I had something like say this Waypoint or a super sweet 6.5 bolt action rifle, I'd probably go ahead and spend the money on the 6.5 Ti. And the titanium can's great because of how lightweight it is, how handy it is, and especially if you're shooting offhand, you barely notice that it's on the business end of your rifle. In fact, while I was out here, Taryn Butler and Heidi Smith, the president of Thunder Ranch and Clint Smith's wife, Two of the best shooters that I know were shooting this gun offhand and absolutely crushing it. Shooting offhand, mind you. If you had like say an all steel can at the end or an all steel 308 can, that would be a lot more difficult. It might affect your point of aim, point of impact if you're adding and removing this heavy can from the end of your gun, but it's also going to make you a little bit more tired, especially when it's hanging off the business and far out. Guys, thanks a ton as usual for watching. Thank you to our sponsors, Blue Alpha Gear, Top Gun Supply, your online shooting sports superstore, and Ventura Munitions, who sent me the half case of 6.5 Creedmoor that I ran through this can this week at the four day Thunder Ranch counter sniper course. Guys, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, take care.